Hello guys, welcome back to our video. We are playing in China once again. This is episode 5 of the Qing Let's Play and let's get straight into this. We have a bunch of stuff to check out. One of the things to notice is Japan and Germany are at war with the USSR and seems like they are winning. So I guess that's good. We wanted a piece of their land, not too much, but, but a little bit, you know. But this doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't matter. We also build a bunch of stuff as you can see, a lot of median tanks. But it seems like we need to start doing uh, stuff quicker because this is gonna be a long game if we don't. We have a lot of uh, units over here. Uh, Tibet is almost done. We might attack India today. We still, we may not, but we probably will. You know what? I, I you know, I, I'm not sure about that. I think we can. I think we can, but still, we don't have our mediums over here. We'll still see about that. We'll see a little bit later. We have a huge economy. We can make so much actually. That's a very nice. Let's build more mediums over here. And let's probably build uh, better tank plants as well. We're gonna need them for sure. There we go. We'll also probably transfer this land over here. We'll take, uh, yeah, the, all of this. The Japanese uh, controlled China. It should be relatively easy. They also control Macau. That's a uh, nice. We'll have that as well. So, uh, yeah, let's probably start taking it. That's the first thing we'll do. Hopefully it won't interfere with anything. They are in our coalition though, That's uh, that could be a problem. We might need to kick them out for that. Yeah, because we can't go to anything else. And they don't have anything here, so we are fine, yeah. But the thing is, uh, Manchukuo could intervene, they have all of this, and I wouldn't be too surprised if they attacked Japan. And that could be a problem if it does happen. So I'm not too sure if we should do this. I don't know, man. Uh, let's actually get our mediums over here. Sinkiang is actually uh, active, believe it or not. Interesting, I guess. Interesting. Let's get all of these mediums over here. Let's prepare for war. We will send our demand uh, to India today for them to give up uh, Tibet. And they, let's be honest, they won't. So there will be a war. Kind of good for us, you know. Let's actually put all of our units on these borders right here. There we go. Uh, this is over here. Let's see. Uh, Bhutan isn't at war with India. Okay, that's uh, that's good. And let's put more over here. We're just gonna put a lot in this one area. And we'll prepare to just charge through. We'll do the same here and uh, here. This is a pretty big war. I didn't want it to happen, to be honest. Uh, man, fuck India. But, you know, uh, of course the player don't be a bitch ass and moan about that in the comments. Because I swear to God, man. But as far as I can see, yeah, they won't be able to stand up to us. Not at all. Tomorrow we also see how powerful our economy is, which is good. We should be doing pretty well. As you can see over here, it's uh, it, it has become much, much larger. So that's uh, that's very good. Anyway, all of these are coming over here. I don't think we have enough units to take uh, all of this. Even if we do, technically we can. We are risking uh, Manchukuo attacking in Japan and stuff like that. Trying to take this land and that would be just possibly very bad. So we'll wait to have a much larger force over here to try to take that. So we'll be ready to invade Manchukuo as well if that's needed. So let's actually send the demand. We demand the return of Tibet to China. As your country has forcefully seized it in a war. We are expecting a response within 24 hours. There we go. If they do not, then, you know, uh, we're just uh, taking it by force. Then I hope we can sign peace because I don't, I really don't want all of India. There's no use for that. I don't want all of India just because of, uh, just because of Tibet. I want just Qing lands. No more. We're building everything as well. Uh, production has slowed down a bit. Uh, that's for sure. Let's build better tank plants over here as well. If we can't afford it, let's buy 1,500 metal. Not too expensive, our economy is pretty strong anyway. There we go. And we have how many units? We have a good 50 units, yeah. And a good amount of mediums now as well. And our mediums are just OP. The Axis Doctrine has insane mediums. So this war is gonna happen tomorrow for sure. No question about that. Unfortunately, we won't be doing that today. Same with this, I believe. I mean, we could do it, I guess. It would take a long time though as well. The South, not so much. But this northern part for sure would take a bit longer at least. We need to at least announce uh, the land transfer in the newspapers because without it it could be problematic. Yeah, let's do that. There we go, let's uh, let's send that. That should send the message. Unfortunately for this, we all need to kick them out. So too bad, but we have to. Let's do that. And let's uh, do this. 
let's just take it all let's this one just go all, all the way over here this one you can actually send over here over here over here into Taiwan this one can go over here over here and up to here uh, thing is they have right of way with us so I don't know if this will work I hope it does this one can go over here over here take Beijing and over here like this this one can do this go here like this and just like that and then it can go over here and over here and further over here as well there we go that should be all of the lands that's a uh, pretty good so yeah we should have all of this land by tomorrow which is good and tomorrow we also attack india for sure 100 percent uh, so that's nice anyway uh, we're gonna end it right here thank you so much for watching and goodbye